Item number SCP-3672. Index. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. All and any possible information concerning POI-365 is to be filtered by Protocol-3672 Lamech. And data deemed relevant is to be sent to the two extant teams of researchers at both Site-102 and Reliquary Site. The full contents of Protocol-3672 Lamech are not to be made available to both teams at any time. Description SCP-3672 is a phenomenon centered around an individual known as Michael Scrivener, designated POI-365. Through an isolated CK-class reality restructuring scenario, almost all information concerning Scrivener, save some limited information compiled by the Foundation and similar organizations beforehand, has been erased from history and historical record. What limited extant information indicates is that Scrivener was male, Catholic, see Addendum 1, and worked as a puppeteer for primarily motion pictures, typically working with full-body puppets. What limited information exists indicates that he was most notably employed to perform the character Sweetums in the 1979 film The Muppet Movie, filling in for Richard Hunt. Hunt later provided the voice of the character. He is also recorded to have puppeteered in other films by the Jim Henson Associates Company, such as the 1982 film The Dark Crystal, the 1984 film The Muppets Take Manhattan, and the 1986 film Labyrinth where he possibly portrayed the character Ludo. He was probably dismissed from the Jim Henson Associates Company that year and appeared as a Sasquatch-type creature in the 1987 film Harry and the Hendersons, followed by numerous unknown commercials. Several charities reported large donations from Scrivener at this time, but which charities these are or were is unknown. In early 1995, Scrivener was reported missing. Later that year, Foundation Hume Counters briefly recorded a CK-class reality-altering scenario, which lasted 1.5 seconds. Following this, evidence concerning Scrivener's life and career were completely erased. Private and public memory of Scrivener has been altered, and no possessions or accounts can be traced to him. The roles of his that can be verified within 75% probability have been performed by Richard Hunt, Ron Mook, and Kevin Peter Hall. The Foundation became aware of SCP-3672 when the backup Deepwell database of stored public information reported several broken or false uploads following the event. Addendum. There currently exists only one piece of information for Scrivener's existence, pre-SCP-3672 and outside Foundation Deepwell servers. A damaged, handwritten note was located in a drawer inside St. Teresa of the Child Jesus Roman Catholic Church in Borehamwood, England. Father Halleck. Illegible. And yet I grow joyous and filled with fear at what is meant to come. I cannot see you in person due to the circumstances, but I have been told that my illegible means damaged is happening again, and what is in Genesis 5.24 is that damaged. I ask for forgiveness and I request a prayer for strength, that I may walk in the steps of the light and fulfill the twelve steps of pity unto him. Damaged is with illegible now. I am regretful for my sins, and I hope I have done enough with my life. I wish to be absolved. If you are aware of damaged, look to the future. I'll let Jim Henson know I'm sorry. M. Scrivener, 1995 the implications of this note are complex and unclear, and research is pending.